What is up my friends, welcome back to another video. And today I wanna to talk about a very simple concept to allow us to kind of stand out from among the rest. Uh, stand out in a crowded field, or you could say stand out among the competition. I don't really like that word because it makes things, uh, we kind of lose sight of what we enjoy and we're trying to like compete, trying to be the best. Um, I don't think that's kind of a healthy mindset. I think as long as we're satisfied with our own progress and et cetera, then we're in a good place. But anyway, we're gonna talk about um, how to kind of allow ourselves to kind of stand out and um, make people attracted to us, not in a physical way, but you know, in a in a business sense or in a personality sense. So before we really get into that, I wanna share with you that my Chris's Composing community is currently open and I've just reopened the doors for the week. So um, it's basically a community of composers and songwriters and musicians who are all uh, improving their music um, every single day, asking questions, providing feedback. There's also access to you know live coaching calls like track, track feedback and Q&A calls, as well as monthly new classes um, on different pieces of content. So it's very, um, it's a very, tight-knit group of vibrant musicians who are all kind of stepping up their musical game one at a time. Um, it's a lot of fun. I've had the, really the pleasure these past few months of, of hosting and running it. So um, if you're interested in that sort of thing and upgrading your musical skills, then I definitely recommend you join this week. Again, it's only open until Friday, so you can check the link below. And uh, yeah, please feel free to join us if, if it seems right for you. And I want to give you a gift for watching this video, and that is my free guide called How to Make Money as a Composer in 2020 and Beyond. And basically, this uh, this kind of is, is quite suitable to today's topic because it doesn't really matter what field you're in, but this is really the pathway that I've been following myself to build an online business and a passive income stream uh, over the past couple of years. And it's been a really fun journey, but it's freed me up to do a lot of what I enjoy, which is like songwriting, arranging, producing, etc. So if you're interested in that sort of thing and building an online business, then I want to give you that guide um, for free in the box below. If you just check the, the link below as well, um, you'll get access to that right away. And uh, without further ado, let's kind of talk about the topic today. So <clears throat> how do we actually stand out from the rest of the crowd? And it's actually very, very simple, but it's a mentality mindset. And that really is to be generous and add value to other people. And I've kind of talked about this before on the channel, but I don't think it can be overstated enough the importance of being kind of a, not necessarily outgoing, but being a people person, right? Kind of being empathetic to what other people go through and how they how they approach things. Um, this can be done through conversations and you know texts or whatever it is, but Basically, the, the, the concept of being generous and, and over-delivering, giving more than what was asked of you, this is what we call an abundance mindset. So it's like, like you don't believe in the fixed pie system where there's like a limited number of resources um, in the world when it comes to like, let's say, customers or clients. You believe that there are uh, more clients that you can get. There are unlimited people, uh, unlimited number of people who can purchase your services or buy a course of yours or whatever it is. And so as a result, you're kind of free from that feeling of being restrictive and holding on to everything that you have, because then that can give you a kind of a restrictive mindset and, and it'll make you feel stingy and, uh, you know, almost appear sulky. And people don't want, want to really work with someone who is uh, feeling that kind of way, right? Who has that kind of attitude. So having an abundance mindset and being willing to offer value to other people, that actually makes you more attractive because people naturally like generous people, right? Um, it's, it's interesting, like one way we can apply this is for example, if I'm working on a project and let's say I'm hired to do like a mock-up or a production of a certain song, um, what, I'll, what I'll usually do is I'll say, okay, I'll get this over to you within a week, let's say seven days, right? And then I'll usually work on it, of course, and I'll you know dedicate a couple of days to it. But once it's pretty much done, I will send them, I will send it to them. And usually that's within three or four days, for example. So they're pleasantly surprised because they've received the product within less time than they expected. So instead of seven days, they got it within three or four days. That's one way you can um, under promise and over deliver. So getting your product and getting the service done in a quicker amount of time. Another thing I like to do is um, add an additional service on top of it for free. So for example, if they hire me to do a mock-up or something, I will add in like a mix and a master for free as well on top of it. And so this is usually not something that uh, is added in the, or, you know, in the fee, but you know, you can say, oh, because I've really enjoyed working with you and I want to make our project as good as possible. 
Um, here is a free mix and master that I've done to the track already, so you can enjoy it as well. And that blows people away too, because again, they, it shows them that you're not only doing what's required of you, you're actually going above and beyond because you are truly excited about the project and you wanna make it as good as possible. And so people naturally connect with other people who share those kind of similar interests, um, whether that's in a recreational sense or in a professional sense. So, you know, in a scarcity mindset, you might see people um, doing the service and then they're kind of, they kind of just walk away, right? And they, or maybe they, you know, they, <laughs> they ask for all the money up front and then they, uh, they just, they walk away or like scam artists do this all the time, right? They, all they care about is money. So they'll find whatever ways they can to get your money and then just walk away. But for example, maybe it's like uh, you're working on something and you refuse revisions. Like someone wants a slight change, but you're like, oh no, that's gonna take up too much of my time. Like uh, I have other stuff to do. Like that, that's not attractive. People don't wanna work with people like that who are not flexible, right? So naturally you wanna be able to go above and beyond for your clients and give them a great experience so they come back to you, you know? And so um, I found a lot of result with that um, and just build these, these connections with people that, uh, you know, they, they don't forget for a lifetime, you know, they remember these things. And that's the thing, like people may not necessarily remember what they bought from you or, you know, the service that you provided, but they will remember how you made them feel, the experience that you gave them, right? And so that, that naturally is what I think will help you stand out a little bit from the marketplace, from the rest of the people who are maybe less abundantly mindsetted. <laughs> and maybe they have uh, a slightly different view of the world and they, they think that, um, you know, everyone in their field is like a competitor. And so if they get a job, then, oh, that's a job that was taken away from me, et cetera, right? Which technically could be true, but it, it doesn't help anybody. It just builds resentment, it builds jealousy and Again, it makes you less approachable and all of that. So why would you want to put yourself in that situation? I think it's better if you're generous, if you offer to help people and add value to people's lives for free, you know, then it, it builds those connections and it shows people that you are willing to give first so that naturally they will want to reciprocate and give in return over the long run. That could be, again, in the form of services, that could be in the form of buying a certain course or a membership or whatever it is. But Overall, if you wanna make a difference in the world, then being an abundant mindset person is definitely a good way to go about that, I think. And that's really shaped my view on business and how I've been building my business. Like that's why I'm creating this content for you because I truly help that, I truly think that these kind of concepts can be helpful. You know, when I upload sample library reviews or I do composition orchestration tutorials and things like that, you know, I don't earn money from that. I, I just do it because I think music is uh, a beautiful thing that we are given and the fact that we can share it and kind of dissect it and break it down is a wonderful thing so i want to share that with you because i think that will help you make better music if you apply that to your own writing and so yeah generally the, the concept of being generous and adding value is not something that can be stated enough and i believe that honestly if you start to apply that to your own life in whatever you do um then you, you'll you will see the results of it very very quickly i think um, even within like a couple weeks to a couple months, uh, people will people will naturally want to work with you more. They want to, um, you know, form professional relationships. You know, they want to, you know, chat with you, be friends, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And you'll just be a happier person for it as well. So hopefully that makes sense. And uh, that is basically my take on what it takes to basically stand out within a crowded field or within your niche. Just be generous and add value to other people and you will see the results. So I just wanna sh share again a quick reminder that my Crisis Composing community is currently open until Friday. And again, if you are a composer or songwriter and uh, you're looking to really upgrade your musical skills and you want a vibrant community of people to kind of share with and ask questions and you know feedback and all of that, as well as having me critique your music and also um, answer your questions and also give you you know monthly master classes on like new content then this is definitely the place for you again you can check it out in the link below it'll take you straight there to the page you can check it out for yourself and before you go i want to give you my free guide called how to make money as a composer in 2020 and beyond which will take you through the exact process that i'm using right now to build my online business and take um, what I currently have and turn it into like a passive income stream that supports what I want to do again, which is like writing, composing, songwriting, singing, whatever it is, it'll free you up. It'll give you more time and you can help and spend more time with people you love and enjoy life. Anyway, thank you so much. I'll uh, see you in the next video and take care. Bye-bye.